We are very excited to welcome to One America News, Jerome Reve. He is a member of European Parliament and the leader of National Rally. Jerome, thank you so much for traveling to America and sitting down with us today. Thank you for having me here. Very excited. It's uh, interesting to come in Washington, D.C. In, in those strange times. Let me ask you about mail-in ballots, because, of course, this has become such a controversial topic in the United States. How does France deal with mail-in ballots? Yeah, and it's a, it's a very interesting subject because since 1975, mail-in ballots have been banned uh, from France election electoral process because it is so, wait, too easy to cheat. Banned. Banned you, completely. No, you, you no mail-in ballots. You, you cannot do mail-in ballots. You can vote on uh, for for someone uh, if you have a, a specific paper that is filled by that person, delivered to City Hall, and you, you can have uh, one person that you a proxy, a proxy yeah. for one person. And, and it is checked, you, you, you come with one piece of the document, where you vote, they have to have the other piece of the document. So it is a process that is very secure. Because mm. some people cannot go out and vote, some people will sure. be traveling, so it makes sense to accommodate some of the needs. But mail-in ballot has been known in France to be a, a, a major way of cheating and, 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 and not having a, a correct electoral process. But the, the funny thing is that Macron, must have discovered how useful it is for uh, the globalist agenda. And last week at 10 p.m. At the, on, on the Senate floor, the French government introduced uh, an amendment to a piece of legislation trying to allow uh, early voting through uh, machine voting. He's, he, he discovered suddenly that because of COVID, you could uh, jingle your way around and, 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 uh, and change uh, the electoral process. The senators found out, were very upset, and refused to pass this amendment. But you can see that there is this tendency among the globalists to change the, the, the rule of law, to change the electoral process. And the only reason, seriously, is that it allows more leeway to, uh, to, 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 to do things with the electoral process, to cheat. That's, no, I don't see anything the, um, else. And what about the uh, machines? Is there machine voting in France? No, it Electronic? is the same thing. We, we, we don't find it safe enough. Uh, it is extremely complicated to have a safe process at such a large scale. So what we believe in in France is the fact that you come in, you, in order to vote, you show your ID because the guy that comes in doesn't know you, so you have to explain who you are. You show a, a, a simple identification paper that That's anybody for the can whole, have. For the whole country, it's for the whole France. country, every single election. People need to know who you are, and, and then you vote. One man, one person, one vote. That's, that's what democracy is all about. And uh, the fact that you, I, I, I'm always baffled in the United States when I could come in and I could vote for someone pretending I'm someone else. This is something that baffles uh, people uh, uh, most all over Europe, but in France specifically, because this is something we don't understand. If you want something to be democratic, you need to know who votes. Jean Rivet from the European Parliament via France, thank you so much for joining thank us you here for today. Me here. One American News. Thank you.